All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So, you're interested in cryptocurrency, huh? Maybe you've bought a little Bitcoin, dabbled in some Ethereum, or you're just trying to figure out what all the hype is about with these altcoins. Today, we're diving into the key metrics you need to watch on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. Think of this as your decoder ring for the crypto world. These platforms are treasure troves of information, but only if you know what you're looking for. So, grab a coffee, maybe a notepad, because we're about to unlock some serious crypto secrets. Let's get into it. Market capitalization or market cap is crucial. It gives a true picture of a cryptocurrency's value. Calculated by price multiplied by circulating supply, helps compare projects meaningfully, reflects market sentiment and stability. Larger caps like Bitcoin and Ethereum are more established. Next up, let's talk about trading volume. This is another absolutely critical metric you'll find right alongside market cap and price. Trading volume, usually shown for a 24-hour period, represents the total monetary value of a specific cryptocurrency that has been traded on exchanges during that time. So if you see a 24-hour volume of $1 billion for Bitcoin, it means that $1 billion worth of Bitcoin was bought and sold in the last day. It's a direct measure of market activity and interest in that particular coin. Think of it as the pulse of the market for that asset. Why is trading volume so significant? Well, for starters, it's a key indicator of liquidity. High trading volume generally means that a cryptocurrency is easy to buy and sell without causing a massive swing in its price. If there are lots of buyers and sellers actively trading, you can get in and out of positions more smoothly. Imagine trying to sell a rare, obscure collectible versus selling a popular smartphone. The smartphone with higher trading volume in its market will be much easier to offload at a fair price. Low volume, on the other hand, can mean it's harder to find a buyer when you want to sell, or a seller when you want to buy, potentially leading to wider spreads and price slippage. Trading volume also helps to confirm price trends. All right, let's move on to another crucial piece of the puzzle, circulating supply. This metric tells you the number of coins or tokens that are actually publicly available and circulating in the market. This is super important because it directly impacts the scarcity of a cryptocurrency, and as we know from basic economics, scarcity can heavily influence price. It's not just about how many coins exist, but how many are out there right now, trading hands, being used, and available for purchase by you and me. You'll often see circulating supply listed alongside total supply and sometimes max supply. It's vital to understand the difference. Circulating supply is what's active in the market. Total supply is the total number of coins that currently exist, including those that might be locked, reserved, like for a team or foundation, or not yet mined. Max supply, if applicable, is the absolute maximum number of coins that will ever be created for that cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin's famous 21 million cap. Not all coins have a max supply, some are inflationary by design. The reason circulating supply is so critical is its direct relationship with market cap and price. Remember, market cap equals price times circulating supply. So, if the circulating supply is relatively low, a smaller amount of buying pressure can potentially lead to a more significant price increase. Conversely, if there's a massive circulating supply, it takes a lot more demand to move the price needle. Okay, let's talk about a metric that everyone probably looks at first, even if they don't fully understand its context. The price change over 24 hours. This is usually displayed as a percentage, showing how much a cryptocurrency's price has gone up or down over the last 24 hours. It's often color-coded green for up, red for down, making it instantly eye-catching. While it's a very short-term indicator, it does provide a quick snapshot of recent market sentiment and volatility for that specific asset. It tells you the immediate direction the wind is blowing. The price change over 24 hours is useful for getting a quick feel for what's hot and what's not in the very immediate term. If you see a coin up 20% in the last 24 hours, it immediately signals that something significant might be happening with that project, perhaps positive news, a new partnership, or just a surge in buying interest. Conversely, a sharp drop can indicate negative news, a market correction, or profit taking. It's the market's immediate reaction distilled into a single percentage. This can be particularly relevant for traders looking to capitalize on short-term movements. However, and this is a big however, you have to be extremely careful about putting too much weight on the 24-hour price change alone, especially if you're a long-term investor. 
The crypto market is notoriously volatile. A coin can be up 30% one day and down 25% the next. Making investment decisions based solely on these short-term fluctuations is a recipe for emotional trading and potential losses. Let's discuss market dominance. Bitcoin dominance shows what percentage of the total cryptocurrency market cap is held by Bitcoin. For example, if the total market cap is $2 trillion and Bitcoin's is $1 trillion, Bitcoin's dominance is 50%. It measures a cryptocurrency's influence. Bitcoin dominance is closely watched. Why is it so relevant? Bitcoin is seen as the gateway to the crypto market. Changes in Bitcoin dominance indicate market sentiment and capital flows. Rising dominance means capital flows into Bitcoin. This happens during uncertainty or strong Bitcoin rallies. Falling dominance suggests capital flows to altcoins. This period is called alt season. Investors seek higher returns in smaller assets. Tracking Bitcoin dominance reveals market risk modes. Market dominance isn't just about one coin being better. All right, guys, here are the five critical metrics on coin market cap and coin gecko. Market capitalization, trading volume, circulating supply, price change, and market dominance. Understanding these helps you make informed decisions in the crypto market. Remember, no single metric is a magic bullet. Use them together like pieces of a puzzle. Do your own research, Dior. I hope this helps you navigate coin market cap and coin gecko with confidence. Smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Comment below on which metrics you find most useful. Check the description for additional resources. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.